Hi, I'm Mason Zayed. I have cinnamon skin, long black hair. I'm wearing bright red lipstick. I look like the lost Kardashian. I'm sitting in front of a bookshelf of books I haven't read and scattered throughout the books are my favorite stuffed animals. A Muslim, a Popple, a Curious George, and Scrump from Lilo and Stitch. And I am so excited to be part of this Nora Project event because I think teaching empathy, building friendships, and teaching kids and students about disability can save lives. It destigmatizes disability. It gives disabled kids something to be proud about instead of being ashamed. And it teaches everyone that disability is just another part of life, nothing to fear. I'm so proud of the work that the Nora Project is doing, and I'd love to give you a little laugh. Those of you who don't know me, in the Oppression Olympics, I would win a gold medal. I am Palestinian. I'm Muslim. I'm a woman of color. I'm divorced. I'm disabled. And I live in New Jersey. If you don't feel better about yourself, maybe you should. But let's be real. There is no Oppression Olympics. And if there was, I would not win it because I am chock full of privilege. Not cisgendered, able-bodied, straight white man privilege, but you know, I've got walking privilege, I've got talking privilege, I've got a lot of privilege. There's one privilege though that's gone that I wish I still had, and that was cutting the lines at Disney. One of the perks of being palsy is that you never have to stand online. And the greatest place on earth to not stand online is Disney. I used to love it as a kid. I would go on Space Mountain 15 times, and then I would come out to the really long winding line, and I'd find a kid standing under that sign that says, two hours from here. And I'd be like, hang in there, kid. I know you're beat right and about to pass out, but it's totally worth it. I just rode Space Mountain 15 times. My favorite ride at Disney, though, were the teacups. You sit in a big teacup and you spin around really fast. And any time I rode that ride, I would walk straight for like the next six minutes. I'd be like, oh my God. This is really magical, but it all went bad. A bunch of non-disabled people started renting disabled people so that they could cut the lines at Disney and they got caught. And now no one gets to cut the lines and it's no longer the happiest place on earth. And I just wish I could have been one of those tour guides because I would have made it a teachable moment. I would have taken the kids away from their parents and been like, hey, Timmy and Sally. I wouldn't care what their names actually were, but I'd call them Timmy and Sally. I'd say, mommy and daddy did a very bad thing. And you're just one little accident away from being just like me. So hold on tight, kiddos. Who wants to go on Space Mountain? <laughs> Disability does not discriminate. It's the one group that you are welcome to join at any time, regardless of race, faith, gender, sexual orientation, economic class, everybody is welcome. And I think we should all be a little more like disability, don't you? So the pandemic has made me miss hanging out with my friends, especially my very best friend in the world since I was five-year-old, Tina. Um, Tina made me her designated driver when we turned 21 because Muslims don't drink, or at least we don't admit to it on social media. This was a very bad idea because any time the cops pulled me over, they would think I was wasted. They'd be like, ma'am, are you drunk? And I would be like, no, I am not drunk. I have a severe permanent neurological disorder. And they'd be like, ma'am, we're going to need you to get out of the car and walk a straight line. And I would just look at them and be like, it'd be a miracle if I can, can. Let's give it a try. So what I did instead was I learned how to sing the alphabet backwards. I was like, Z, V, W, U, T, V. 
and they were so impressed. They would slow clap for me, like the end of the movie, Rudy, and they'd be like, you go, girl. And what I didn't know was I was lucky. 50% of all Americans killed by law enforcement are disabled. 50%. The world is broken, but we can fix it. We can fix it by saying no to arming violence worldwide and no to violence against women. We can fix it by saying no to being an internet troll and to raising an internet troll. If you feel the need to post hate, Google cats on glass tables instead. And finally, we can fix it by refusing to be silenced. Your voice is your weapon against injustice. I beg you use it. My name is Maysoon Zayed, and if I can can, you can can.